um, yeah, how do, ch- how do children adapt and get through these experiences and how does it affect them as they grow up into adults? Well, <clears throat> let's just begin by saying that life affects the human development. Yep. So whatever happens in life will have uh, an effect on human development and whether those things are good, whether those things are harmful, all that will have an effect because we're creatures of the environment and uh, we're born with certain biological needs and uh, psychological needs. In fact, you can't separate the two because the emotional needs not being met has direct and definable and defined physiological effect on the brain and on the body. And this begins in utero. So already stresses on a pregnant woman will have an impact on the physiological stress reactivity of the infant. In fact, the study recently within the last two weeks showed that stress on the mother in pregnancy shows documentable effects on the infant's stress responsivity up to age 45 which is when it was studied and and this is and there's some gender differences in how prenatal stress affects um the fem- females and males so it, it begins in uterus mm. so the more stressed women are <clears throat> the more inflammation that might be in the child's body the more the stress regulation mechanisms of the brain might be disturbed um metabolism is affected and so on and then this then goes on to a uh, childhood infancy and so you have a combination of physical effects but you also if you look at how the human brain develops the most important uh, determining influence on the actual development of the brain is the quality or emotional relationships between the child and the parenting environment and I'll quote you from an article from Harvard Center on the Developing Child published in the journal Pediatrics in 2012 that says the architecture of the brain is constructed to an ongoing process that begins before birth, continues into adulthood, and establishes either a sturdy or a fragile foundation for all the health, learning, and behavior that follow. Not some of the health, learning, and behavior, all the health, learning, and behavior that follow. And, second sentence, the interactions of genes and experiences literally shapes the circuitry of the developing brain and is critically influenced by the mutual responsiveness mutual responsiveness of adult child relationships particularly in the early childhood years so under the circumstances of my own first year when my mother was concerned with sheer survival grieving the death of her parent agonized over the absence and unknown fate of her husband that she could not provide me with those playful, relaxed, stress-free interactions that I required for my healthy development. 